everyone hi everyone ravi this side welcome to engineering adda so today i'm going to show you how you can dockerize your spring boot application so simply i'm going to create a spring boot application and i will create a docker image of it and i will try to run that docker image so in the docker container so how we will do that i will try to show you so in the last two videos i have brief you about what is docker and how you can install the docker desktop or how you can install the docker toolbox on your system and in this video i am going to create a spring boot application and create a docker image of that spring boot application okay and then we'll try to run it so let me go to the intellij and then try to create a spring boot application so here you can go to the file new and then go to the project uh, let me create a docker demo something like that docker demo app okay let me go next so i'm creating a simple spring boot application so i'm only going to use the spring web i'm just going to create a get app, get mapping where i will try to return some string there so let it configure and download the starter dependency and then after that we'll try to create the uh, apis so let me go to the source main and let me go to java so here i'm just uh, going to create one api so let's say it's a git mapping let me try to say it's a git okay and then here let's say it is returning a string get message something like that i'm naming this method okay okay let's return some message here so it's a return uh, welcome to engineering adda welcome to engineering adda okay uh, let me make this public now let's it, this class would be annotated with the at the rate rest controller so that it can behave like a controller and we have one get mapping here so and let me try to change the port name for this or let it be 8080 so let me try to run this application and then see how the get mapping is working or not so let it up on the port 8080 which is a default port for the spring boot as you know so you can see it is up on the port number 8080 now come to the browser let me try to hit it 8080 and then get so you can see uh, we are able to get the string here which is welcome to engineering are done now let me go to the application so here what i am going to do now i am just going to create a docker file and there i will try to do some configuration and after that we'll try to create the docker image so go to the file and please uh, keep this note that uh, the docker file name should be capital d and then everything should be small so it's a docker file okay and just add it now here we need to do some configuration so i'm just going to add this from jdk open jdk and the version is 17 so this should be installed in our uh, docker image so that we can run our application there so it should be from open jdk 17 now coming to we need to expose some port number here so why we are uh, like where we can use this port number so this is to communicate from outside of the container like outside world can communicate using this port number to the con container that we are going to create so let me provide the port number as 9090 okay now coming to uh, the next configuration we need to add the jar file here so where the jar file will be generated it's inside the target folder let me name the jar, jar file to docker 
demo app dot jar and let me this is the location where the jar file will be generated okay let me provide the jar file name here now let me try to create the entry point configuration so from where we can run our jar files so it's a java comma minus jar and then we need to provide the name of the jar file that we are going to create so let's say slash docker demo dot jar so coming here in the target you can see not, no jar file is there nothing is created now let me go to the pom.xml file and then try to create the final name for the jar file so let's say it's a name of the jar file will be docker demo app okay now we are good with the configuration of the docker file and the pom.xml now let me try to do a maven install so that uh, we can build the application and when we'll try to do the maven install it will create the docker file for us sorry it will create the jar file for us so let me come here and let me try to do the maven install so it will take few seconds to do the build and once the build is done the jar file will be created inside the target folder and after that with the docker command we can uh, try to generate our docker image so yeah let's let it done first so you can see build is success now go to the target folder you can see we have created the jar file with the name called docker demo app okay so how we can create our docker image so you can come here to the terminal and you can see it it has opened inside the same folder structure where we have created our application where our docker file is so here also you can uh, run the docker command and create the docker image and you can also open a terminal and then from there you can also create the docker image by running the docker command so i'm going to open a terminal here so this is the application that we have created this is the folder structure for that let me try to open a command prompt here okay so first of all uh, let me try to show you what all the images are there in my docker so let me try to run the command docker images so you can see i have uh, this many images spring boot docker final uh, spring boot auth auth mongo mysql these are the images these are the tags id of the image and when it is created what is the size of it so we don't have any image with the name called docker demo application now we are going to create it so let me try to do that so the command is docker build minus t and then we need to provide the name of the docker image that we are going to generate so let's say i'm going to create docker demo app and then we need to provide the root here and then enter so it will take few seconds to create your docker image for me it is not taking much time because i already have the open jdk in my docker or whatever jdk you are going to use you should be first uh, it will take few minutes for you to download it because it is of uh, around 500 mb so depends upon your internet speed it will take some time to download it because i already have in my docker so that is why it is not taking much time to generate my docker image so now our docker image with the name docker demo app is generated let me try to show you so let me try to run the command docker images and here you can see we have created one image called docker demo app and it is created 39 second ago now let me go to the docker desktop and here also you can uh, see those images 
so you can see docker demo app is created and less than one minute ago and this is the size of that okay from here also you can run this uh, docker image in a docker container okay and from here also uh, you can select it and let me try to select it there are a couple of options that it provide you can see from here we can push it to the hub or pull it from the hub view the detail of it so this is uh, very much helpful when we are using docker desktop it uh, makes our work easy so now let me go to the command and from there we'll try to uh, run the docker image so so uh, let me try to run the image in the container so command to run the image is docker run minus p and here we need to provide the port number to which our container is exposed so it is 9090 and this is the port number on which our application is up so it is 8080 now uh, let me provide the uh, docker image name so it's a docker demo app okay and now hit the enter so you can see our application is started on the port 8080 but we can access uh, it through the port number 9090 which is a container port okay so we can access through the container only so we are going to access this application to the port number 9090 so let me come here and let me try to show you so this application is not running okay and uh, we have not configured the port number for this application so it is defaultly run uh, will run on the port number 8080 now let me try to show you what is the api that we have created so the api is get and when you, when we are going to uh, hit this api we are able to see this message so let me try to run locally so is http localhost 9090 okay and then we need to provide the api for get mappings which is get hinter and then you can see uh, we are able to see the uh, message from the application so our application is running on the container inside the docker so this is how we can create our docker image we can run our image in the container and try to get the apis so this is about this video if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks